All right, guys, welcome, uh, welcome to a uh, new game on my mind, a uh, new gameplay. It's called Dynasty Warriors 7. This will be part one of it, and uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be playing this today, and I'll be uploading it uh, later on. But yeah, so welcome to my channel, to those new people who are viewing it, and I love you guys, and I really love to play this game. As you know, it's my favorite, and it's one of my favorite games, and so, uh, and I'm so psyched to play it. So, uh, we'll be starting the follow history of, uh, Three Kingdoms, and let's do it. Uh, we'll be picking, um, Shu first, because I like the, I like the, you know, how Liu Bei is, and he follows the benevolence, and, uh, you know, the love for the people, so, yeah, so I follow the people, too, so, um, let's do it, uh, we'll do a new game, easy, and thanks, and th thank you guys for, uh, you know, viewing my channel, viewing my, uh, you know, uh, my videos, and I love you guys, I really do, I, I really love that how you guys, you know, like my channel and my videos. It's hard to kick some butt. Let's do it. Okay, peasant. There you go. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the Imperial Court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the, the Yellow, Yellow Turban, Turban Rebellion. rebellion. <laughs> the threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. Yeah. His name was Liu Bei, and he, he was a descendant of the Han royalty. Ah. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. I love that. With this oath taken in the peach garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, there was no greater cause than to ease the people's suffering. <laughs> Speak. 
speak to the person with the red mark above their head to begin the battle there. Here, that person is Lord Wan Yu. Welcome! Welcome! If you hadn't helped us, we all we know you are lies. No, I am simply, simply relieved, relieved that you are all okay. Are any of you injured? injured? We are all fine Please thanks to you. Me. You are a true hero. Hell yeah. Hell yeah I am. If you're going on ahead, please be careful. The leader Yo, of the yellow turbans, Zhang Jiao, is, is around here somewhere. somewhere. Okay. Who are you all? I've never oh, seen you before. before. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I just wish they'd let us get on with tilling our fields. At this rate, we'll starve. The Imperial Army is just a bunch of bullies. Uh -huh. Can we really trust them to defeat the Yellow Turbans? Nope. Nope, you can't. Lord Jian Yong has always been with you, hasn't he, my lord? You're from the same town, right? Yes. The rebellion of the Yellow Turbans is just another yeah, sign that this land is in turmoil. Is the Imperial Court just going to abandon us? Oh my god. Let's check out what the hell. Equip the seals. Max health up. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Off the info. Speak to them. Okay. They are attacking nearby villages like common thugs. But the, but the Imperial, Imperial Army, Army refuses, refuses to help us. us. It's simply it's unbearable. unbearable. How, long How long must, must we, we live, live in such despair? Look at the size of these guys. <laughs> They're, They're like giants. giants. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, which one I should talk to? Guan Yu or Junk Fei? Guan Yu! Brother, we have fallen behind the Imperial Army considerably. We must, we must pick, pick up, up the pace and, and catch, catch up. up. What's the big hurry? It's not like they they're care there, anyway. We're simply volunteer soldiers, soldiers, and they're probably are even gonna miss, miss us. No, he is right. right. We, we must hurry and catch, catch up with everyone. You're too serious. Well, at least I'll get to go out there and see some action. Yeah. John Chow is the man we need to defeat, right? Yep. Then let's do this. Thank you, who are you? <laughs> wow, really? That's how you call your cards, okay. 
Let's go kill all these bitches! Hey, Jung Yao, I'm coming for you. Stop me! Oh god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh shit. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's all. Hey, Fu Jong, this.
Was his dream to save the people and the land itself destined to go unrealized? Thanks in large part to the efforts of Liu Bei, the Yellow Turban Rebellion came to a much welcomed end. Afterwards, he continued to fight on behalf of the people, but the chaos showed no signs of abating. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that the nobleman Noble Yuan Shao rose up. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, an even greater threat loomed over the assembled warlords. Down twelve. And that threat had a name. Dong Zhua, a brutal it. warlord feared far and wide. Dong Zhua manipulated the young emperor, soon ruling the capital through fire. Alright guys, thank you for watching and this will be the end for Dynasty Warrior 7 uh, Part 1. Thank you guys and I love you guys. Bye bye.